What's up guys? Now in this video, uh, I'm going to be very blunt, very straightforward, and I'm willing to lose subscribers over this video because I've seen this happen too much over the last uh, couple of weeks. And I know it's true. And I know it's going to slap a couple uh, coaches and trainers in the face when I say this, and that is okay, right? I've made it very clear on day one since I've started shooting this YouTube channel uh, a long time ago, over four years ago. I'm not here to be buddies. I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you grow your business. So with that being said, let's dig into it. Now, a lot of coaches will reach out to me on Instagram and I don't even use Instagram that much, but I'll see direct messages and they'll be like, Hey, um, how affordable is your program? Or they'll say, Hey, like I can't, uh, pay a lot. Can I get it for free? And every single time when I've gotten on a call with one of these types of coaches, uh, whenever I ask them how they're running their business, it's very common that they are running into a lot of problems. And one of those problems that they run into is clients are wanting to negotiate with them what the pricing is. And it's very common that these coaches and trainers are charging a very low amount. So they're charging a very low amount and they're working with clients who are not committed. And here's why. It's because you are not committed. You don't know what it feels like to invest money. So it's impossible for you as a coach to command more money from your clients. All right. And it sounds crazy when I say this, but every time someone reaches out to me with, Hey, I want a discount on your program or, Hey, I want to do it for free. I can't afford it. Right. That those are the types of coaches and trainers that always fail because they are going to run the rat race of charging very low amount. And typically when they charge a low amount, they're attracting clients who will pay that low amount for the most part, but oftentimes they'll just be flaky. And so you attract who you are. That's the way this goes. Now, am I saying like you need to get out of your credit card right now and, and pay me for my program? No. Uh, what I'm saying is my program is very specific for coaches who are ready to crush it with their business. They want more. They want to help more clients. They want to have a bigger impact. And they obviously they want to improve their finances, right? But for someone to come in with the mindset of, oh, I want a discount or I want this. Trust me, when you tell me that, your clients that you work with that are doing that to you, that's happening for a reason. It's because you're that way. And there's a couple of coaches that I've worked with over the past five years that I've, I've seen this so closely. Uh, when I say a couple of coaches right now, there's 91 coaches in our mastermind program. All right. So th there's a lot of coaches we're helping, but one of the things that I've seen is when they put skin in the game themselves, when they're more committed to their business, they start to realize, wow, I know how it feels like to invest into myself. Now, when I ask clients to invest into my program, right? I can charge more because I already know what it feels like to make that transaction because now they're more committed to themselves. And I've seen someone, uh, you can go on Instagram. I have a hundred case studies there. If you tap right below, uh, right below my photo there, there's like, I think it was like 150 case studies. Um, and one of those coaches, his name's David. And he charged a very little amount of money for his program at the beginning. And after we got done working together and we're still working together, actually, uh, but after the first year, he started 
having a lot of confidence. And he started to realize, wow, I have put skin in the game myself, so I know what it feels like to make that investment. Now I'm going to charge a premium for my program and work with less clients who are more committed. And he went from charging like $30 per session, right? Right now he charges $800 per month, right? Now he has a great program. It's not like he's just charging a bunch of money, but he went through the process I'm talking about, right? He realized I'm not going to be able to do these $30 sessions anymore. It's not going to, it's not going to work. I'm attracting the wrong clients. And once he put skin in the game, he realized, wow, okay, I know what it feels like. And now I know what it's going to feel like to attract committed clients, right? So if you've ever run into this problem before where you're working with uncommitted clients, we don't need to blame them. We need to look at you, look at yourself in the mirror and say, you know, how committed am I to my business, right? Am I always looking for discounts? Am I always looking to, to return crap, right? That's why for me, like, I'm probably the only person on the planet right now that doesn't do a 30-day money-back guarantee. That stuff is for losers, right? That is, that is setting someone up, uh, that's setting the customer up for failure because they know that there's a way out. They know, oh, well, if this doesn't work, if I don't log into the program, uh, I can just get my money back. I don't do that. I don't do that. And I'd rather work with way less coaches who are serious and committed that are going to do the work. Like the last eight weeks, the coaches in our program have closed over $250,000 of online coaching, online coaching, not in person, online, right? So like, I'd rather have results like that than have, you know, the amount of subscribers we have here on YouTube, which is close to 3000. I, I, I don't need to have 3000 clients that are, are not doing the work. So I hope you can see how I operate. You should be operating the same way with your business. Have less clients who are more committed, but you need to understand you're going to be attracting in your program who you are. That's how it works. And if you've seen yourself struggle a lot with, wow, no one's paying. Like, I promise you, if you look at your own life, you're, you're practicing probably the same habits they are. I'm talking about your, your clients and customers. Okay. So this is the thing. If you know, you're like, all right, I want to be charging more. I want to be doing this. Well, the question I'm going to ask you, when's the last time you spent 2000 or $5,000 on something where you've invested in yourself? Cause parents, when they, when they buy your program, they're investing into the betterment of their child. So when's the last time you've done that? Right? Odds are it's probably never, unless you have bought a car. That's, that's not a, that's not a, uh, investment to yourself. That's it. You could buy any car. You could take Uber all day if you wanted. All right. You could ride a bike. You could walk. Okay. So that's my question to you. Ask yourself, you know, if I'm committing $5,000 for my program, right? When's the last time I've invested $5,000 into myself? How do I know what that's going to feel like? Would I actually do that? All right. And then my last question here is if you're char if you're looking to charge more for a program, right? Would you buy your program? Yes or no? And I promise you, I I've asked that to a lot of coaches recently and the answer I've gotten is, I don't know. Then if we don't know then how are, Clients going to sign up for your program. That's telling me you don't have confidence in your program. And that's also telling me you don't have confidence to raise the value and raise the price of your program. If you don't think you would buy it, you have to be the, the person who would be the first customer of your program. Like, and I'm not saying this to be cocky. I I'm saying it cause it's true. The program I have for kids, right? And this is not an exaggeration. But I know for me personally, the program I have, I mean, it's very in-depth, very structured. I do a lot for the clients that I work with in person. And there's a lot that happens online as well, 
while they're in my program. And there's a lot of accountability. I understand the progress. I can monitor that throughout the year. Like I'm building a relationship with them. That they're consistent. They're committed. They come on a set day, set time. Like I'm very confident that if I was a parent investing into my program, I would I would be paying anywhere between ten to twenty thousand dollars per year. Easy, right? Easy. Why? Because. I know how valuable it is, and I know the results. And I know what's included. I know every little detail, every little piece. And you should ask yourself that. Like, if you were a parent, would you spend that amount of money? All right? Would you be spending more than what you're currently charging? All right? And if you're if you're running the rat race right now, where you're working with a lot of uncommitted clients, look yourself in the mirror. Like, if I hung out with you for a week. Like, how are you acting? How are you behaving? Are you always looking for discounts? Are you always buying stuff and returning? Like, I, I promise you that that's not, that's like the elephant in the room. No one wants to talk about, but that's true. And I know coaches I've talked to in the past who are like asking me for a discount for our consulting program. Those are the coaches that I know they won't do the work. I know they won't do the work. So I don't let them come into my program. Because I don't do discounts, right? I don't do discounts because that's that's unfair, that's unethical to to my clients that have paid full price, right? It's not fair, right? I'm not going to give anyone a discount, period, right? Period. So I hope you can take what we're talking about and and look yourself in the mirror. And understand, wow, if, if I want to charge more, I have to change who I am. If, you, if you've if you tracked the last couple videos here on YouTube, I talk about that a lot. You have to change who you are. You have to change your behaviors to get different results. You can't just change the tactics. All right? Your mindset in businesses is going to be the most important thing. Period. Right? So I hope this helps. Can't blame anyone if you're working with crappy clients. Got to look yourself in the mirror. How do I know that? Because I used to be that guy. Right? I'm admitting publicly. I used to be that guy. I was very uncommitted to my business. I was not willing to invest in my business. I was very disorganized. And then I looked at all my clients during that time. They were very difficult to deal with. A lot of people did not pay. There's still a guy in my city who owes me five thousand dollars right now. It's ridiculous. There's no reason why someone should owe me five thousand dollars. That was from like nine years ago, right? Whose fault is it? His fault? No, it's my fault. All right, I gotta take the blame. Right? It's like when you watch the NBA, you see someone airball and they go like this. My bad. That was my bet, <laughs> right? That was my bet. It's not on them. It's on me. I attracted them into my life, into my business, right? Now, once I sacked up and I started to change, I remember when I made my first investment into a business coach, it was $800 for two, all right? Two 20-minute conversations per month, 20 minutes, not two hours, Right? I remember how that felt. And I remember what happened the following month after I worked with my first business coach. Right? I tripled my prices. Why? I knew what it felt like. I knew what it felt like at that point. And that gave me confidence because I was like, wow, I put skin in the game here. This is helping me realize, wow, I should be charging more for, for what I'm doing. And it gave me confidence to realize I'm more committed to my business now because I've done that. And I will tell you, every coach out there needs a coach. I have a coach. I have multiple coaches right now that, that are helping me with what I do, right? I, I, I never think that I know it all. I don't. I absolutely don't. And by investing into coaching, that has, has made a huge return in my business. I can learn way faster. I can fast track things. 
can learn from someone's failure, learn from someone's success, and have the roadmap on what to do. And ultimately, that's what that's what I do with coaches. It's what we've been doing with coaches for the last four and a half years. So ask yourself those questions today. Who am I training? What are they like? And then who am I? What am I like? You attract ultimately who you are. And that's why I'll tell you, the most successful coaches I have ever been around. And I'm talking about like, if you look in the US and Canada and even other countries, the, the most successful coaches and I'm talking about people who have like big businesses, like high six figure businesses. Um, some I've talked to that have seven figure businesses. They are not slouches. They would never buy something, and get a refund. They are never looking for discounts, right? See the difference? And guess what? They also don't train slouches. They don't accept everyone of their program. They're pretty picky with who they work with. They charge a premium, right? They understand what the value of their time is. They're not doing these little pay by the hour sessions. They don't do that. They charge a premium for what they do, like I said. And these are the coaches I like to help. I like to help you either like take what you're doing and get to that level, or if you're at that level now, how we can get to the next level, all right? So if you have any questions for me, I know this is a very direct and blunt video, but someone needs to tell you, right? Your buddy that you have beers with on Fridays, he's not going to tell you that, right? Your wife probably won't tell you that. Your girlfriend won't tell you that, right? I'm going to tell you that. I got nothing to lose by telling you that because I know it's going to help you. And I know it's true. I had to see myself in the mirror multiple years ago and it made me realize I have to be different. And when I made that decision, when I started investing into my own business, like at this point, I, I've easily invested easily over a hundred thousand dollars into, into the betterment of my business by getting coaching, by joining masterminds, by going to events. Like easily, right? Why? Because I want to be better. That's it, All right? So if this helps you out, look yourself in the mirror. If you're like, dude, uh, you're, you're being too mean right now. Great, unsubscribe from my channel. I don't care. I don't care what you do, right? I'm here to help you. I want to help you because I want you to be able to help more clients. That's my goal in life. My goal in life is to be able to help millions and millions and millions of clients, right? I can't do that unless you are helping a lot of kids, a lot of clients, yourself, right? That's why I'm here. That's why I'm gonna be blunt, because it, it's, not, it's not fair for me to, to be nice and cordial and sugarcoat and say everything's okay. It's not. Right? If you're struggling right now, you have to make changes. You have to approach what you're doing in a different manner. And that's why I'm going to be the way I am. Right? Because I know that's going to be the thing that's actually going to help you. It's going to help you move the needle. It's going to help you make the change from going from a $15 per session person to like an $800 per month trainer, like, like my guy David, who's been through our program. Right? So that's it for today's video. I'll be back in a couple of days. If you have any questions for me, best way to reach out to me is 210-960-5771. Now, if you're like, hey, dude, I want a discount on your program. I'm going to send you back to this video. Right? I don't do discounts. Every quarter, right? This is, this is facts. Every quarter, our investment for our programs go up. Why? Because the results are great. And I'm not looking to have a million coaches in our program. I can't do that. I don't want to do that. All right. So text me. I'd love to chat with you. I spend the majority of my day. So like when I'm not shooting YouTube videos, the majority of my days are, are they look like 
me on the phone, talking to coaches like you and helping coaches like you get to the next level. And uh, I'd love to chat with you. I'd love to see how I can help you out. That's it, guys. I'll talk to you soon.